If you need to scrape Instagram hashtags to find influential posts, accounts, or content ideas, I'm going to show you how to legally scrape recent and top posts for any list of hashtags using only your browser without violating the Instagram terms of service. If you need a list of hashtags relevant to your niche, check out this Instagram hashtag generator from Hootsuite. I'll put a link in the description. You just pick your language, and then I don't know why they ask for a description and keywords. I just put in beer for each and I got all these different hashtags. These look about right. It's generated with AI, so most of these are probably wrong, but we'll just take these for now. We'll start with beer lovers. To get these posts, I go to instagram.com slash explore slash tags, and then I paste in the hashtag name in lowercase without the pound sign. Then copy this full URL and head to Instagram. And the best part of this is you don't need to be logged into Instagram to scrape this data. Just plug in the URL and grab a beer as Instagram takes forever to load. If you're logged out, you'll only see top posts. But don't worry, there's a lot more data under the hood. Right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools to check out the network traffic. Click on the network tab, then click on the fetch XHR sub tab. Now reload the web page to get Instagram to resend its data back to our browser now that we're recording web traffic. Then sort the requests by size in descending order and check out the first request. It should be this one here called logged out web info. Then browse through the JSON and look for this collection here, edge hashtag to media with this count here showing the total number of posts and click on edges and you'll see like 70 different posts here that aren't displayed on the web page. These are all of the recent posts containing that hashtag. So because you're logged out, Instagram doesn't show them on the web page, but it still loads them into your web browser using all that bandwidth. So until they fix this, we're able to scrape recent hashtag posts without being logged in. We can see the caption of the post. This is in Spanish. We can see the short codes. We can look this up in the browser. I'll show you that in the end of the video. The timestamp, so this is very recent, about eight minutes ago. And we can see other statistics like the like count and get the full display URL to the image. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see this other collection, Edge Hashtag to Top Posts. And this contains seven items corresponding to the top posts we can visually see on the web page. With the same structured data, it shows in the recent posts. Next, we wanna filter these requests. So click on headers and then check the ending of this URL here. Right now it's just logged out web info. This may change in the future. Let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a new video. Copy that and put it in this filter here under the network tab. We only want to see these network requests and make sure preserve log is checked because we're gonna process a list of these hashtags now. Then click on this again and then go back to preview so we can make sure this data is loaded into the browser and it's being recorded. Now we're gonna load the hashtags for our second hashtag, craft beer. So I copy it and I just change the hashtag in this URL in the same browser tab where I have developer tools open in the filter applied. Now I can see Instagram is loading in and when I click on this second request, I can see that preview data here. And then I keep doing that for my entire list of hashtags. I change the URL for that hashtag and then I make sure I click on that item inside the network tab to load the preview, otherwise the browser will not record it and I won't be able to export it. And you don't need to worry about using an overpriced proxy. I did this all from the same IP address and they just don't care. They don't rate limit you unless they detect you're using automation. So don't use any automated tools, please. That's a great way to get your IP and account banned. All right, so I got to 10, but you could probably get to about 101 sitting. Now make sure under this network tab, all of these preview tabs load. That means everything here is loaded into the browser under these 10 requests we have filtered. To get this data out, click this down arrow here labeled export har and click it to save a har file to your computer with the raw JSON data. To get the data out of the har file, check the link in the description to my no-code Instagram API scraper featuring the har file web scraper. That works with any har file, not just for Instagram hashtags. Drag and drop the file here and will automatically group together all of those related requests so you have all the JSON in one place for the 10 hashtags we just browsed through. Scroll down to the requests section and we can see the raw API responses from the Instagram API that we recorded in our web browser. Click these blue links here and you can download the raw data to your downloads folder absolutely free so you can process all that JSON using your own code. Or if you just want to get the data out as a CSV file, click parse group here, which combined all those 10 requests together and collapsed everything into these downloadable CSV files. If you have a free account with our service, you can download up to 10 rows of this data per day, absolutely free. So that first collection with 700 rows are the recent hashtags, but if I want the top posts, I can scroll down and here I see the top post collection with only 81 rows. There are a lot fewer top posts because there's only up to nine per hashtag and we browse through 10. 
and I can download that as a CSV file as well. The columns will be the same for each collection, regardless of recent or top posts. You'll see the ID of the post here, which is a really long number. The type of the post, this will either be image, video, or sidecar, which is like a carousel. This is the short code. I suggest using this as the identifier because you can jump to that post by using this URL pattern here, instagram.com slash p slash short code. So here I just looked up the first post. This is the first recent post in my scrape and I can see the caption here and it was posted eight minutes ago, which corresponds to this Unix Epoch timestamp here. This is the display URL. If you go here, it will hypothetically give you the full image of the post. And this is the thumbnail URL, which hypothetically gives you a smaller version. This is if it's a video or not. Accessibility caption gives you a text description of the image contents. I'm pretty sure they're just using Facebook's AI to do that. So here it says image of a poached egg with French fries in a caption, and I can verify that in the real post here. So this is good for people with visual impairments. This is the caption of the post. Forgive these funny characters. They're not properly decoded emojis. For some reason, Instagram sends them in a special way. But if you import them into Excel, they should load properly like they do here on the actual post on the website. If you're using these to train an AI model, your tokenizer will probably just drop them anyway, or you can just do them yourself. I mean, a lot of these posts are just normal without any of those emojis like this one here. Since these are recent, they don't have any comments yet, but you'll see the count here. Here you can see a few of the other ones have some comments. These are the dimensions of the actual posts. A lot of them are 1080. This one here is a little bit taller. And you can also see the like count here. Again, they're new, so there are no likes, but you can hover to see the distribution here. Then over here are a few other mysterious columns. I believe owner ID may be a number representing the user, but I don't think there's any way to look them up. And then some other things about the thumbnail resolutions here. So if we open up the downloaded CSV file in Excel, we can see all of the combined hashtag posts for those 10 hashtags in this one file here. And you may be wondering, which rows correspond to which of those 10 hashtags. So if you scroll to the right, you'll start seeing other columns parsed from parent JSON objects, including the root JSON with that hashtag data. So look for this column here called data.hashtag.name, and you can see a reference to which hashtag was used for the lookup. So these are the first one, all beer lovers. Then here's the second one, craft beer. So you can see that all of these rows here are from that craft beer hashtag in case you're wondering where they came from. Another thing to be concerned about are duplicates. For example, if you scrape very related hashtags, you may get duplicate posts. So I suggest using this short code to deduplicate them. You could also try using the ID, but basically in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever, just use a deduplicate feature and use the column short code and deduplicate everything. Here we don't have any duplicates, but just thing I wanted to make everybody aware of. And on a quick legal note, in case you want to do this while logged in, so you could scrape a lot more recent hashtags if you scroll through them, this whole HAR file web scraping approach is completely undetectable. Instagram can't tell when you're recording it. You are simply using their service normally within their terms of service. The only thing you're doing differently is recording it, which is protected under a court case regarding Sony versus Betamax. So since the data scraping occurs on the recording in the HAR file, it realistically can't be governed under the Instagram terms of service. So you can legally use this HAR file scraper while logged into Instagram to scrape follower lists user posts, comments, reels, etc. As long as you don't use any automation and use your website normally, you'll be fine and you'll never get blocked. Just keep in mind copyright, never republish content from Instagram without permission or maybe copyright infringement. However, use in private settings or research is probably totally fine. Disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. So thanks for watching until the end and why not check out this next video here on general Instagram scraping with HAR files showing you how to scrape the follower lists of any account. Like and subscribe for more.